Mediocrity is not the same thing as contentment. This prayer, God don't bless me too much, can keep you in a place of mediocrity whereby you just settle for less. You accept the bare minimum. God, if I just have what I eat each day, I am fine. God, if I just have what I can survive with me and my children and pay their school fees, I am okay. Do not make me poor. Do not make me too rich. Let me be in the middle. I want to be a middle class person. A middle class person has never helped anybody because they cannot even help themselves. So you need to kill that mediocrity mindset whereby you try to make it look spiritual like it is a godly mindset. The Bible did not say you should be in such a place. The Bible talks about contentment and as it's written in 1 Timothy 6.6, 6, yet true godliness with contentment is itself great gain. And contentment does not mean I don't have ambitions. That is mediocrity. Mediocrity says I don't have ambition. I don't just want to seek too much. I want to just remain here. Let me find a comfort zone where I eat the little I eat. I am fine. I am not satisfied. I don't really have peace, but I just want to be in this place because I don't want to go into something that will make me miss God. I don't want to stress myself because mediocrity can disguise as laziness. Whereby you don't want to work hard, you don't want to push, you don't want to do anything. But the mindset of contentment says, I am satisfied here and I have peace here, but I also have ambition. I know that there is more. As much as I have satisfaction, that doesn't mean it is settlement. It means I am satisfied, which is I am not trying to compete. I am not trying to be envious of whoever is having better than me, doing better than me. I am just okay here and I have peace here and I have the mindset that there is more ahead for me and when you have that mindset of contentment you will always want to break out of your comfort zones you have things that are ahead of you which you are looking forward to and each step that god takes you you are like i am where god wants me to be in this place and that is not you saying i have settled because god kept telling abraham go to where i will show you how and abraham kept moving his tent from one place to another to another and God wants to have that as a mindset that he wants you to keep moving to where he wants you to be and each place you find yourself since you are having the right mindset you are satisfied there till God takes you to the next place financially relationship wise and all facets of your life so you don't have to make friends with the mindset of mediocrity and scripture says in Proverbs 28 verse 20 Committed and persistent work pays off. Get rich quick schemes are rip off. Sometimes mediocrity can just make someone sit somewhere and be praying for money instead of being committed and persistent in working because it does pay off. The mediocre just want to stay somewhere, not really stress themselves, and then they are not ambitious. So anything that comes, they are okay with it. It is pertinent that you break off of the mindset of mediocrity and embrace contentment in all its truth, which is true godliness will make you contented. Not trying to spiritualize the aspect of being poor or trying to make it look like, oh, you are a humble person because you are not out there seeking. No, be contented and know that God is the one that will bring his blessings into your life. You are not the one trusting in riches and trying to get rich by all means. Scripture says in Ephesians, now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power and work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. So God wants to exceed whatever you can ask of him. Do not settle for the mindset of God don't bless me too much. Do not settle for that limiting mindset. 